Well, to be honest, I really uh, was wondering a few years ago what was going to happen with a car enthusiast like myself. I like beautiful, good-looking cars, fast, and uh, I came across a technology, uh, the plug-in hybrid technology, from a company called Quantum Technologies, and they had developed something called Q-Drive for the U.S. military. And I realized with that technology that, you know, with the power it had, we didn't necessarily have to make a tiny little car to make an environmental car. So what really prompted me was, I saw that the future definitely had to go in the direction of making environmental cars and seeing this new powertrain, I saw we can also make them look really good. We can make bigger four-seater cars. We can make sports cars. So that was really what, what initiated the whole thing. We actually developed together with Quantum and integrate this drivetrain together with Quantum into the vehicle. The uh, battery pack is coming from another company called ALP, which Quantum founded and now Fisker uh, Automotive a couple of weeks ago, we took a large stake in advanced lithium power and we get this battery now exclusive uh, in the Fisker Karma. We got a uh, two liter four cylinder gasoline engine in the front that turns a generator, it never turns the wheels. And at the rear, we have two electric motors and a differential, so it's just a one speed and they combined give 400 horsepower to the rear wheels. So it's actually a real performance car, either in electric mode or in gasoline mode. The top speed is 125 miles an hour sustainable. It could get closer to 150, but we limited it. And zero to 60 is 5.8 seconds. And uh, are, the motor, are the motors driving the rear wheels individually or are they tied together? They're tied together with a differential. Okay, uh, now uh, the internal combustion engine you've got, the, two, the General Motors Ecotech engine, uh, compared to some of the other uh, extended range EVs or plug-in hybrids uh, that are being done out there, it's got quite a bit of power, 260 horsepower. Um, can you explain why you went with an engine with so much power? Well, first of all, the, the other cars you're talking about is not on the market yet. They're still right. concept cars, where this car is you know, a final production car and it's getting delivered by the end of this year. The reason we went with a two liter uh, Ecotech engine from GM was, first of all, it's a very modern engine, direct injection, turbocharged, but secondly, we wanted to have enough power to sustain a top speed of 200 or 125 miles an hour, 200 kilometers an hour, and secondly, we did not want to see the range extender as just a uh, limping home mode. It really had to generate the power we needed. The other thing is, you don't want the gasoline engine to run at max RPM, even when you go top speed. So the gasoline engine is never really stressed out. It always runs at a pretty low RPM, which means it's more quiet and much more fuel efficient when it runs.